A lot of times we're looking at things and we begin by seeing it, but soon our conceptual mind sort of takes over, but you're still looking at something. And I kind of love those moments where you're seeing colors, you're seeing forms, but just a bit of it. And the rest, you kind of went into like a mindscape. You were totally in some other place. Painting in a lot of ways is, it helps me learn the Dharma because I can just kind of put things and ideas or feelings into the paintings and see where they go and sort of play with what that means. There's a limit to your body, but the mind is very malleable. We really do see what's in our mind. We, we're not kind of always just looking and having that sustained concentration. We're pulling back from our memories and things we've seen before. I think painting's a really interesting place for that because it's a place where a lot of things can be happening at one time and really subtly. And I think that when we see a painting, we sense all that, but it kind of seems natural. To think about and reflect on your own sort of consciousness is really reflecting on and taking a look at, you know, the workings of your mind. And if you can do that, then you can be aware of how much or less we get caught up in our emotions and thoughts and, and patterns and things like that. Ever since the pandemic, I've just been thinking about it more and more. Just, we have to be patient and sit with ourselves and we can't really like run off. We're just, we're in the laundry room. We're just, we're in the washing machine. My paintings are, whether it's Buddhist symbology or not, are about my own kind of experience of the world in a way, but and also learning, learning Dharma. I feel like if something is really beneficial and interesting to me, I guess my hope would be that it would be really somehow interesting and beneficial to others because honestly, we're all so similar.